So I just came back from new member orientation with Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, and we were intending to go in just <laughs> learning how for me to become a chief of staff, for her to become a congressperson. We ended up uh, coming out this week with her having attacked Amazon for their new HQ2 they're putting into her community, right? She calls a neutron bomb of gentrification. And I saw her do a sit-in in Nancy Pelosi's office to fight for a Green New Deal. I saw her become an Instagram star, giving thousands of people access to this otherwise very opaque process of becoming a congressperson. I've known Alexandria for about two and a half years. I know she's a fighter. I know how much courage she has. But it is so freaking scary after you get elected. All the pressure is, is on you to do what everyone else is doing, to not step out of line, to not do anything that's radical. Some of that pressure is coming from people you trust and respect and, and very nice people, right? So the amount of courage I saw her show this last week, it's both incredible and, and when I talked to her about it, I realized it's because she ran on a movement and she ran listening to her district. So the people in her community coming up to her every day and telling her, you know, don't just fall in line, don't go in there and do nothing, you need to fight. If we're not pushing the chips in every single time that we have a chance to do it, we're not gonna get the change we need fast enough to actually solve the biggest problems that we're facing.